Frederick Williams is that. I just want to touch on you talking about the security issue. I know how you felt about the naked body scanners. The Sorry, naked I, body scanners they put in airports and naked, courthouses. Naked body scanners? Yeah. Yeah, I, without hand picking any particular technology, I think there's definitely more we can do on the technology. I don't, I don't, I'm not really familiar with naked body scanners. It's not, I don't, that sounds like a great idea. They have them already. Yeah, these are the ones where you go through and then they supposedly the image goes to another room. Yeah, well, they can do whatever they want with the image, but it's literally taking an x ray of you through your clothing. So you're basically getting a naked picture you're taking, and you're getting x rayed every time you go to the airport. Yeah, I mean, as an alternative, you can pat it down, okay? But it seems to me that that, that is an extreme example of what we need to be doing to keep ourselves safe. That's where it's heading, though. Yeah. Well, it they is. They want to put them on the streets, too. There, there are answers to technology. In, there are answers in technology. Uh, but the reason to have technology is not to sacrifice your personal freedom. And you know, my point is, we're sacrificing our personal freedom because government hasn't brought the way of its technology forward. Bring the technology forward that causes us to be even less free and sacrifice our privacy. It seems that wasn't the right way to point to technology. One of Congress's uh, favorite ways of making it look like the budget has been balanced is by unfunded mandates. What's your position on unfunded mandates? I'm opposed to them. I have a very simple idea of spending. Any dollar not spent by the federal government 
on a constitutionally derived purpose belongs to the people. So if you're going to balance the budget, my view is you freeze the budget at the pre bailout level. And when you want to know where the cuts come, you apply that test. And there'll be savings for all. Including in funded mandates. That's one way that Congress does it. New Hampshire is trying to balance its own budget. Part of the reason they're having so much trouble is things like special education, Medicaid, Medicare reimbursements, which are loaded on funded. So it's a burden on the states that the federal government is creating. It's concrete on our shoulders. But the state is now passing it down to the local community. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, but where does it start? Federal government. That's where it needs to start. Sir.